Eric from Homestead Junction. Today I've got my hands on a copy of Worms at Work by author Crystal Stevens. It's the latest in the Urban Homesteader Hacks series from New Society Publishers. It's a primer on worm composting, everything you need to know to start worm composting at home or in school. But today I'm going to be focusing on five fun facts that I found interesting and I thought you might too. So here we go. Fun fact one. Worms are inherently clean. If you compost by another means, or collect food scraps for city pickup, or even just toss your leftovers in the garbage, mm. you'll expect a certain amount of flies and odor. But not so with worm compost. Worms break down food to its core nutrients, and so a well-managed worm farm is totally inoffensive. Fun fact two. A worm bin is a great source of fertilizer. Worm castings are rich in minerals, humic acid, and healthy soil microbes. You can use products from your worm bin in several fun ways. Good! The liquid collected from the bottom of your worm bin has variable nutrient content and can be used on ornamentals. Better! Water veggies with a solution or tea by diluting worm castings with dechlorinated water. Or top dress with a small amount of worm castings. Best! Brew compost tea by aggressively bubbling air into a bucket with worm castings and molasses. You'll want to get an air pump. Fun fact three. Worms are great for soil biodiversity and texture. The gut of the worm is perfect for nurturing beneficial microbes. Dead soil won't grow plants. Fun fact four. Worms, like vampires, hate the sun. Use this to your advantage. To separate worms from compost, place a mixed mound in a bright spot. As the worms flee into the center of the mound, progressively strip away compost behind them. Eventually, pure worms and worm-free compost may be obtained. Fun Fact 5 Once you're up and running, you've got a free lifetime supply of great fertilizer. You may have to spend something up front to get the worms or the bin. But after that, you're just turning food scraps into fertilizer. And bonus, worms reproduce. So after a while, you can sell the extras to recoup your startup costs. If those five reasons don't have you chomping at the bit to start worm composting, you're in luck. Because Crystal Stevens' Worms at Work has lots more great reasons. Care and feeding instructions, using worm compost in your garden, worm bin designs, teaching plans, worm composting with your community. For all that and more, check out the book Worms at Work by Crystal Stevens, brought to you by New Society Publishers as part of the Urban Homesteader Hacks series, out now.